Hello there, I'm Sheila Pearl, Relationship and Life Transitions Coach. A lot of people ask me, so do you deal with anything that's difficult? Or do you just tell people what you think they should be doing? I have a confession to make. I'm in the trenches along with you all the time. I recently lost my mom. My dear mother died at the age of almost 90. She was a week short of 90. And prior to my mother's passing, she had been in a nursing home for several years. And prior to that, she lived with my brother, who took wonderful care of her. There had been something that I had done many years ago that my brother couldn't forgive. The story doesn't matter. What matters is there's something that I did that was wrong. I was irresponsible. I was clueless. I was in a deep pit of my own. And in that situation in my life, I did some things that my brother just couldn't forgive. It involved my mom. My mother had given me a credit card and she said, use it, I know you can use it and I don't need it. I did my best to take care and I fell big time. I made a big mess and I asked my mom for forgiveness for what I had done. It really spun out of control. And on my blog, I'm happy to tell you more about it. But right now I'm just saying, I made a big mess. And I said to my mom, I'm so sorry, please forgive me. And my mom said, there's nothing to forgive. You're doing the best you can. For my brother, it wasn't enough. And so now that my mom has passed, I'm dealing with losing not just my mother, but apparently other members of my family, including my brother. What do you do? What do you do when you have people in your life that can't forgive you for something you've done? What do you do when you can't forgive yourself for something you've done that you can't go back and undo. How often do you say, I'm so sorry? How often do you confess to others and to yourself about the sins that you've committed, the wrongdoings that you've done, the mistakes that you've made, before you're willing to say, mea culpa, I was wrong, I fell, but let's go on with our lives. The clock is ticking. My brother is 66. My girlfriend's husband at the age of 66 just died suddenly. Life is fragile. I'm 71. I don't know how much time I have, but I'd like to live it with a sense of peace and ease, wouldn't you? So I'm in the midst of emails, conversations with members of my family about this conundrum, about this situation of forgiveness. I deal with this in my own life and I also help others deal with similar issues in relationships. I'm not sure what the answer is for you. But I know the answer for me is to say to my brother and other members of my family, I can't tell you what to think or feel about me. I can only say that I still love you and I miss you. There's always another chance. Don't give up. Thank you.